All right, good morning everybody from the Old Bird Farm. It's Robert. And uh, Aaron's already beat me out here today. What are you doing over there, buddy? Nothing. That, uh, what are you doing? That doesn't look like work today. Sure it does. This is... Where's the tractor? I don't know. I guess it's still back there. I <laughs> hope. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even care at this point? Mm -mm. No. Well, it looks like... Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Yes, we are. We uh, Robert passed a little creek up the road, saw a guy pulling a bunch of little brim out. He's like, man, we ought to do like a, a fish fry and go fishing. I'm like, well, yes, yes, we should. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, especially after yesterday, because yesterday about kicked my butt, man. That was some yeah. hard work. Uh, we're we're going to go fish, and then we're going to come back and do a fish fry, kind of like we did our brats, make everybody hungry. Do some fried potatoes and and clean some brim and we're gonna make it a i decided this we're, we're gonna make a little competition uh oh yeah so we're gonna make a little competition and we're gonna go out here and see who catches the most fish everything's got to be a competition oh that's right all right well i mean i got my got my fly rod right i got here. mine I had, to, I had to go through and see if i had some special sauce in my bag here uh oh and i got my Lanyard, I don't fish much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell someone, tell that to someone who will believe it. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the creek. Here we are. Well, I think one of the most important parts of your fishing trip yeah. is to scout where you're going to fish. Yep. Never do it on an empty stomach. Oh, that's absolutely I right. Some sausage biscuits and some Red Bulls. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing fancy, but. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at it. Actually, that one uh, cafe right there in Waverly Hall. Pretty good. Yeah, it is. First cast of the morning. We're gonna switch over to the other side, but we'll see if anything happens. Got him. Already. Tree fish. Yep. Now this one doesn't count for competition purposes. Had to wet the fly. So we're probably about an hour and a half into fishing and the board is um well, that's what Aaron caught and they're all the ones that I I mean Aaron also caught down there. Let me show you the ones that I caught. They're um they're still in there somewhere. <laughs> so Robert, Robert had a change of heart and decided he just couldn't take them away from their fish family, so yeah, I was just throwing them all back, you know. Um, but also, I see something has changed here, and this is the real reason that Aaron's way up on the board in this competition.
good day. Yeah, it is. See ya. Grab your stringer here. Let's let's yeah. tally up. Let's tally up the results for our competition. All right. <sighs> You'd know. Oh, mine. I get confused about which one was mine. A few of mine fell off. Yeah, well, we had some issues. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I didn't, I don't know if I did much better there. Hey, I, I want you guys to know, though. <laughs> up until the past 30 minutes, I was fishing with the dry fly. Well, I fished up until the past hour. I was fishing with the dry fly. Yeah, and then you caught all those in the past hour on a worm. <laughs> Well, I did have the honey hole a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you uh, did, for real. I'm gonna go get some stuff, cooking stuff. Yeah. And Robert can pick up the honey hole a little bit if he wants and see what else he can catch. And uh, yeah, I know I told we- told Aaron to go get the cooking stuff. Yeah. Get out of here, man. Well, I know we didn't make a, we didn't really make a, a rule for this competition, but I think I just came up with one. Yeah, what was that? Loser scales them. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, that'll work. <laughs> Oh That's yeah. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Well, since you're gone and now I have the honey hole, I might oh. actually since there's if, if that's the only rule, then I might be able to I need catch to actually count. I'll tell you, you what, for I need to count how many I have because he'll come back and I'll have like four left and be like, look at mine, look how many I caught. Yeah, just swap them over. Right. All right, well let's go get some stuff to cook and do a fish rival on. Yeah. Well, Aaron was trying to explain to me something here about the breading, maybe. I happened to glance over and the little rooster was standing up examining the potatoes. Oh, man. <laughs> the rooster was trying to get a hold of the tainer. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, okay, so these are now about at dinner time in there. Oh, yeah, they Why all went into they the pen. Like when it's time. What? They all just went into, went into, you know. I must have seen something over there that freaked them out. No, they were just looking up the road. They've never been that far back. And they were behind the truck going in there and it's new unexplored land which is therefore scary and they have to scream about it kidneys are the best i'd like to run back in there and get that other uh, of paper towels, but I didn't think about needing some for putting the uh, potatoes on. But that's only if you want to be really healthy. Otherwise, you just grab them out of the pot. Yeah. Oh, there you go. See, I started to pop up. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think there's one. Oh, shit. Yeah, it yep. flowed up. It got done, and it said, uh, hello, here I am eating. Yeah. Can explain what's going on here? Well, the chickens and the guineas have sent two different attack forces. Um, they've sent these, they're just coming right at us. So while we're distracted by them, there's another group that's flanking us coming around over here. So. That, that was definitely planned. Yeah. The, the, the turkey planned that because the guineas couldn't have come up with it. That's right. Because look who's coming up behind us. Oh, look. See there? Yeah. See there? And so the turkey plan, he's like, watch this. I'm going to send all these right. little at, and I'm going to come up from behind and get everything. Yeah. He had it. That's he was, hilarious. He was just, he, he was using them. That's not very nice there, Mr. Tom. Hey. The way to uh, eat your fried fish is, well, first of all, you do have the yeah, fish chips right there. Yeah. Then you just come in and luckily bluegill bones are small enough that you can just take a fork and they're cooked right. And this is going to come right off. 
I'm I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Why don't we have any hammocks up around here? Actually, never mind, never mind. That's my hammock. Oh. Never mind. So Why don't we have two hammocks up right yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoy that. Just a uh, fun day to do a little bit of fishing and how to do a fish fry and mm -hmm. just uh, a day not working around the homestead or the yeah, farm. that's right. This is a good day. Sometimes you need a day just not working. Right. And this was, this was a good day. Yeah. This was a good day. It was fun. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed. Make sure and uh, share, like, and subscribe to the channel, uh, Best Salmon Homestead, and watch your step. And we'll see you guys on the next video. See you next time. We weren't in the same shirt. Almost, huh? Almost. How embarrassing. <laughs> I gotta go change now. <laughs> Twinsies! <laughs> I just noticed that.